Hey guys, and welcome back for another episode in our XCOM series. Today we're going to have the exciting moment that our resistance comms are going to be completed. And we were able to finish the research into our heavy armor last time. So all we need is resources to actually upgrade this for the squad. So that's going to be a goal as well. Um, let me double check here. Commander. Making sure everybody is busy. Scientists are always busy, so let's see what's available on the map. I think there's some supplies laying around. Uh, intelligence and supplies. We're going to get a couple of interruptions, but that is okay. Okay, so that will actually allow us to have more uh, connections with the resistance forces in the areas. You can actually assign an engineer to... Uh, get even more connections set up, but I would prefer to use them to clear out debris or build another facility. We've got some debris here, there's one working here, proving ground we're researching grenade. Let me see if we actually did uh, those combat tactics, what is all available. Because we have a captain sharpshooter and a captain ranger now, we can get some of their tactics upgraded. It's not really my preference right now to do this. We need the supplies for other purposes, really. Uh, let's see. We have a power relay. So right now we can get one more contact. It's not much, but it'll keep, a busy, it'll keep us busy. Let's clear out this. We need more engineers either way. Okay, back to getting those supplies and... Commander, that UFO contact has us locked in. We have to take evasive okay. maneuvers. We might get intercepted by the UFO. Well, we were able to evade it. And back to the supplies again. Nice. Let's see what we're going to build here. If we had the supplies available. Uh, we don't need this. We've got one of those. We've got one of those. Workshop. I've actually never built this. It's quite expensive though. And this needs 5 power. I wonder if I should make build another power relay. I really don't want to do that though. And let's just hold off on this. Yeah, let's hold off. Also, the thing is, is that these exposed power coils, uh, they if when you clear that room up and you build a power relay there, then you actually get a lot more power from that. So that would be the preferential way to build that facility. Uh, we have to keep after that thing, Commander. Dr. Vallet seemed pretty concerned about the. We have to keep after that thing. We'll have to Whatever that thing is. We should also be prepared for the eventuality well, that we will encounter. I guess we'll just keep on clearing it. Subjects, the ones we have yet to identify. It is likely they have a similar means of escape via psionic rifts, meaning we could find them anywhere. We actually do not have the Hmm Defense Warfare Center. I thought we did, but we don't. No, we'll wait with that. Eight days, twenty days. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Yeah, as soon as we clear this up, we'll build that advanced warfare center. Unless anything else pops up. Okay. And um, back to the supplies again. We're gonna get an interruption from the resistance. Got an urgent 
communication coming in for you now, Commander. Great. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over I the last month. I don't want to reveal that I want to keep my intelligence. Efforts will only lead to further success. We ignore that for now. We're really trying to get that uh, supply drop here taken care of. Acid grenade, that's a good one. So, targets will continue to suffer persistent damage as the acid clings to them and continues to eat away at any surface it touches. So, it's really effective at uh, removing enemy armor, so that is definitely something that we like. We're almost done with the supplies. There we go. A little reminder that our supply drop is still available. Mm. Let's go get it. Already. That only takes three days, so it's not really a bad deal. We're going to ignore that. Now, we have the supplies to upgrade that armor for our troops, but we're missing, I think it's 10 alloys. I'm going to see if we can buy that at the black market. I don't like doing that. But I really want to upgrade the armor. So let's see if there's anything we can sell first. It's not much, but... Yeah, we don't have much. Let's see what the allies going for. 35 intel, that's pretty steep. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna buy it either way. I really want to do that upgrade. Okay, back to engineering. What can I do for you, Commander? Armor. Because that's the whole thing, it increases protection and I think it gives about 4 health points and an additional inventory capacity, so an additional slot for the inventory. Let's get that upgraded. The aptly named Predator Armor should give our soldiers increased longevity in the field. Interesting. It shows an image of Jazz not wearing his shorts, so that is kind of strange, but uh, who cares. Um, the other one is for Spark. I'm going to hold off on that. Anything we can build here? We have enough of these guys. Weapons. Uh, this is really for the Rangers. And, uh, actually, this one is really nice, though. I'm going to hold off on that. I do want to see about some of the tactics that maybe are available because we have the resources now. Lightning strike. You would get three mobility for the first two turns of battle. Vengeance. Integrated warfare. Ranger and hunter. Well, Ranger and sharpshooter can upgrade, but uh, flanked enemies deal three damage. 75 supplies. Let's do this. So that leaves us with 152 supplies. I think we're good in that area now. We do want to keep an eye out for another engineer. Uh, intelligence here. Let's do that. Avenger plotting new course. Probably takes a little while for us to get into a fight. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. Mm, okay, it's uns unfortunately outside of our area. Okay, so the aliens are making steady progress on the Avatar project, but it's really not too much of a concern. Uh, 
I don't really care much about retraining the troops because this Advanced Warfare Center allows that to be done. Uh, the thing is, is that what I like about it is that it can give you a chance to increase the healing rate of your troops that are wounded if you assign an engineer to the facility. Uh, on top of that, it can also, when you get a promotion on a, on a soldier, it can give a random bonus effect to that promotion, which is also very handy to have. So I'm actually going to build it. So we have him assigned. We have the three engineers assigned. Great. Let's go back. Four days on that. We also get an upgrade to the weapons. But we have a mission. Nice. Okay, so we can choose again West Asia. That will counter the dark event that would normally increase our intelligence costs by 100%. So that is pretty, pretty important. East Asia gives us uh, a mission that would counter the dark event that will actually allow them to increase detection of all enemies. So they would actually have, I would assume, further sight and further detection. Uh, New India would give us a mission that would counter the, well, the hidden event. We don't know what that is. I'm going to go for the West Asia one because I don't want intelligent costs to be increased by 100%, especially since we're looking to expand our areas. And we're going to need to use intelligence on that. So for the West I guess we have to do something about that. Okay, so let's remember that we have an acid grenade. And because of their upgraded armor, which is the Predator one, it has indeed four health, and it also has an additional slot for inventory. I don't think he can use another grenade though, so we're going to give him the medikit. So this is looking nice. Well, it's really not much. Uh, not much we can do right now. Flashbang grenade, anything else that we can get? Maximum one grenade. Skulljack. Uh, not much point to that for a sniper. So. Let's get some grenades loaded here. A little bit of variation. Yeah, we don't. We really need this skulljack. And then another sharpshooter. Yeah, I don't really need it. Um, specialist grenadier, grenadier. I miss a ranger. We have a ranger available. Uh, not really one of the named ones. Oh, Emmy is available. Let's give her a skull jack. Let's also make sure that she has. Let's see if there's any upgrade that she can get. Nope. Interesting. Two grenadiers. Two specialist sharpshooter, so we don't really have a ranger, but uh, that should be okay. Um, she needs a medikit. I almost forgot about that. Am I able to build that? Did I click something wrong? Okay. Uh, can we build one? Nice. Kit. I'm not sure if she has that because I mentioned it before in previous episodes. The specialist gets that ability to. Uh, there you go. So equipment medicates have two extra charges. So she actually has four heals total, which is uh, really nice to have around. And now we have two specialists with this. And I think we're all set and ready here. Deployed. 
Squad green to deploy. Dr. Tigan has been tracking the movements of an advent data vault carrying information critical to the aliens' latest project, and he's finally managed to trace it to one of their facilities in this area. Tigan thinks we can recover the contents, assuming we can eliminate any hostile forces protecting this thing. Move in and secure the area. Leave no alien stand. Leave no aliens standing, we can definitely work on that. Menace 1 5, we've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self detonating charges. I don't like recovering. Stuff, I prefer to blow it up and destroy it. It's easier. We don't have a ranger, so let's get our specialist set up. Great, one of those codex creatures again. get her up onto a roof. Oh, that would be great. Uh, tricky, but we'll do it. So our units, as you can see, have a little bit more health now. A four health point each. Um, so that helps. As the armor progresses in the game, you get actually armor and health increases and armor that have really cool abilities. Um, okay, so where are we going to put him? Let's, Let's put him there. This. Okay, so they're going to move. Uh, not sure if Jazz has a clear shot now. We'll find that out. He does. 100%. Four to six, so the creature will start cloning. Six to nine, that's 87%. Now, if she can crit, that would be awesome. So the crit is actually nine, so she lives with one health point. She can still clone. Yeah, she can still clone, but the the thing is, as far as I know, with one health points, the the original actually doesn't stay, so it's more like a teleportation. Oh, let's see if we can hack. I'll give it a shot. Nah, we don't. No, we don't care about that. Okay, so we have sight on this person. Can give it a try. I guess we are showing too much mercy. Everybody lives with one health point. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good. Do we have to use a grenade again? Should I really run Sparky over there? Kind of worried about running further here and then aggroing another group. Okay, I'm probably going to use a grenade, even though I don't want to. Fifty-two percent, but if we miss, then we have a problem. Uh, 
Sure thing. Let's see what it's now. 71. Let's risk it. Nice. Saves us a grenade. Of course, Van Dancer wants to blow up stuff. But uh, we have to wait with that. Just gonna hold off on him. If you say so. It's tricky without a ranger because it's more difficult to explore the area. Where's Sparko? Let's go. I'll just use him as a sort of, sort of a tank. Yeah, that's not much point. Progress. I can handle that. Advent forces sighted. Ouch. Of course, that's not what we wanted. Especially not with a robot with a rocket launcher attached. Yeah, this is not good. I don't even really have sight on them. Absolutely. I mean, it's out of ammunition, but I don't want to reload in the middle here. Um, on the way. Let's run over here for a moment. So we have this unit and Sparko Overwatch, I guess. Overwatch. And then we put Jess also in Overwatch. Come get some. Yeah. Moving to position. It's tricky. He has the acid grenade, but we have no clue where the aliens are right now. So Overwatch for him too. Overwatch. So the rocket guy, that that is the because of his rocket launcher, that could get. No, oh, okay, that could be very painful because that's probably what he's going to use. Nope. Yeah. Again, I'm not sure why we don't have sight. I'm going to run her in. Yeah. Positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. Great. 89%. Let's give it a shot. Hard target, minimal damage. Yeah, that's why we have fan dancing. No problem, boss. I don't want to, because I think the other guy is still alive here, isn't he? Uh, I'm not sure if I can reach him. Let's try this. this. For you. Wow, we still didn't kill him. Well, time for Spark to get some revenge. Can we move him here? No, but if I move him here, we should be okay. There we go. Now we're first going to shoot at this guy. It sucks because that means that Sparky gets the promotions. We're better to keep people alive. 
Okay. Can't you get up there? No. Move everybody closer. Sure thing. Getting it done. System infiltration. Well, that definitely helps. I was about to blow up the wall again. Let's see if there's anything nice of a bonus effect here. Now that wouldn't be too bad. Nice. That gives us some uh, leeway with the dark events as well. Status confirmed. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. Affirmative. Okay, we need to move fan dancing closer. Oh, there's actually a nice spot. Some Overwatch. Sparko. Um, he has no ammunition, so this is tricky. I want to move some people closer for Overwatch. We'll use Long Watch on Jazz for now. Good, so we can still move him to bring him closer. On your order. Okay. Oh, it's one of those rare moments where she misses. And we left him at one health point again. So there is a certain theme here. I guess that'll be okay. Now if we use a grenade, can we reach him? Um looks like it. That's taken care of. Now, can we get him up there somewhere? Because I don't think he's going to have the range to. But let me. He actually sees him. Okay. Let me see if the grenade reaches. Oh, wow. Get ready for a surprise. Yeah, let's use a gas grenade on that one. Perfect. Because I'm not sure if that's going to be the last one of them. And I want to be careful with Sparky. I'm actually going to run him back. I don't want to lose him. I wonder how much the poison is going to do for that guy anyways. Are we still, I, I think we still have a shot left there, don't we? Ah, just doesn't have vision. That's a bummer. Um, let's try here. Maybe a pistol? No. On Overwatch. On the way. Just in case. A little bit of extra protection can't do any harm. Looking glass might be able to finish him off. On the move. Is he able to reach? Throw 
I'm on health point again, but maybe the poison will do its job. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Not bad. Only uh, Sparkle got uh, injured, wounded. So it wasn't really a bad mission, it was just a quick mission. And usually in these overviews you will see that Sparko is the one that does, does most damage and is most on the fire. I mean it's really a valuable unit to have around, especially with as he increases in level. I'm not sure if he is gonna, gonna get a promotion though, but uh, those robots get really powerful later on. We did miss the Ranger though. It's it's really a very handy unit to have around. Let's hope they all go that smooth, Commander. Great work. Oh nice. Promotion for Emmy. That makes her a captain. Uh, so she can provide either covering fire. Which means that Overwatch shots can now be triggered by any enemy action, not just movement. I've actually never seen that happen. That an enemy, when they would, for example, start shooting at us instead of moving, that we would actually s squeeze in an Overwatch shot. I I've never seen that happen. Uh, threat assessment. Uh, eight protocol now grants a target a covering fire Overwatch shots, but the eight protocol is increased. No, I don't care about that. Let's use this one. So another captain, so that's good. Uh, Sparko is going to be injured for five days. We've got a laser sight and two laser sight actually, and an advanced laser sight. Um, I prefer the scopes for the for the snipers. The scope gives uh, hit chance, and this is critical hit chance. Uh, for the rest, yeah, it's it's not bad. I think we got some uh, supplies as well. Commander, my expectations were high. And yet, Great. have exceeded them. All right. So that is actually really not bad at all. That's uh. Yeah, she has a scope. I just want to double check to see what kind of uh, weapon upgrade she has. Yeah, so she has five percent aim. She has a scope. She needs an upgrade to that, by the way. But uh, uh, snapshots. What she has is uh. Okay. Oh, because she uses that uh, bolt thing, she cannot have an upgrade assigned to that. Um, let's see what she's using. Miss shots do damage. Eh, uh, it's, it's not really great, but it, it will work for now. What is the fan dancing using? A scope. That's my favorite upgrade, to be honest. Looking glass using increased clip size. Okay, it's not bad. So we have some supplies. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna leave it here again. And uh, we had a successful mission. So I thank you all for listening to my usual rambling. And I hope I will catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.